Hi, this is Team Jericho, taking you through the five steps of the archaeological method. The first step is background research. In this step, you need to get as much information on the dig spot as you can. You need to know what, where to dig and what you're looking for. As you can see, my team is hard at work finding as much information as they can. We have, we have figured out where to dig and now we are ready. Hi, my name is Maggie A and I'm here to talk about the excavation process. The excavation process is the second step in the archaeology program method. Excavation is a very important step to the archaeology method. This is a step where the actual digging takes place. In this step, there are some dangerous situations, so you need to make sure that it is all safe in there. Using these steps, we have found part of the ladder. We found this by carefully brushing away the dirt. We spend at least 10 hours examining the artifacts that we have found in the lab. We ask ourselves, what is it, how old is it, what is its purpose, and did they make it or trade it? Today I found a broken shard of pottery. Sean, what did you find? I found seeds that seem to have come from a palm tree. Chase, did they trade your artifact or did they make it? Neither. This is the remains of a, of a child from ancient Jericho. Jalen, how old is your artifact? We have not discovered that yet. We're still doing research. My team behind you will tell you more about the archaeological method. Hi, my name is Jalen. I'm here to talk about publication, the fourth step of the archaeological method. Publication contributes to what you found and creates a written record. After an extensive dig, we found a mud brick. A mud brick is simply a brick made out of mud and straw. We determined that this mud brick was used to make the walls of a hut in Jericho. People use mud bricks for their houses because it's good in all climates. Go. Hi, my name is Chase B, and I'm going to explain the fifth step of the archaeological method, preservation. In this step, they must preserve the artifact from rotting, spoiling, and or decaying. As you see my teammates sitting with me, we are carefully performing this step and trying to preserve our artifacts. This is so more advanced scientists can study them in the future with better advanced technology. 